Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just so everybody knows what's going on. Um, today is uh, October 25th, 2012. I'm just stating that as the date that we have posted uh, four proof of concept videos on YouTube showing uh, a proposed way of building an open source training platform that uh, is uh, quite potentially going to be something kind of, in my mind, different, revolutionary, I'd even say. Um, basically what I've done is I've got three steps. Basically there's uh, uh, all done in C++, Linux, with Ubuntu, uh, all, all open source. Um, so what I've got is I've got the first video showing a uh, demo of a library used to connect into a interactive brokers TWS trade state uh, trade workstation environment to execute trades that works boom done number one number two um, was uh, as you know in the past I've looked at a variety of different NoSQL and traditional uh, databases uh, for repository to store things like ticks and other things um, out of a whole lot, I've always stuck to Redis. It, for my research, it's uh, always come up as a, a top contender for uh, these sort of things. In-memory database, has clustering capabilities, all the failover, all works great with um, R as well. I've got demos of that on this YouTube channel as well as uh, on my premium membership. Uh, and again, I've got a really sophisticated uh, C API library uh, showing it connecting to uh, the Redis server, the latest uh, version or least stable version of Redis. Again, done in Linux. So that's number two. Number three, the most exciting part is, as you know, historically I've worked with things like Visual Studio C++, Java, uh, C Sharp, all the different types of um, video, uh, sorry, open source training platforms for high frequency training purposes. I've always come across all kinds of challenges, be it bug written, uh, lack of uh, documentation, technical, or I can't call R from whatever the programming language that that's uh, uh, open source training platform is in. So I've decided to roll my own, I guess you could say, but I've got two thirds of those components done. I've proven them. I, uh, they, 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 they seem to work. So the third part and the biggest part is R versus MATLAB. And how do you have a platform call a, a, uh, a script from either MATLAB or R um, being able to do its thing uh, from a training platform. Well, that has been now uh, been taken care of thanks to some awesome uh, developers uh, in the world of uh, R uh, with namely packages for R, CPP and R inside. So what that means is that you can take a C++ program be it your uh, trading application and have it call your R scripts line by line from within the R, from within the C++. Not only that, but you can also retain all your market data within your C++ um, and then easily pass it into this embedded R environment all within your uh, C++ application. Again, which would be obviously your uh, training platform for again high frequency training purposes otherwise known as HFT so that's what the third video shows a couple examples you know you can plot some graphs and all that stuff I show that all done again in, 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 in uh, Linux um, the, the better part is um, I've got so many options now for parallelization and clustering to speed up um, the the uh, models and strategies that I've been working on but um, that was with Redis and using Redis and do Redis, that R package as the back end to do some pretty sophisticated um, uh, type of uh, clustering and work, setting up workers and stuff. Again, these kind of options with licensing with things like uh, uh, Windows uh, HPC or um, uh, MATLAB, uh, you're going into the cost of probably tens upon thousands of dollars. And with this method, with the uh, Do Redis, um, the sky's the limit, it's open source, so there is no limit on 
on how much you want to scale it up. But it's one step further now with this third video demo where you can parallelize using an open source parallelizing uh, library within C++, I believe it's from Intel, called o Open MPI. And the nice thing is, is that the um, uh, fine folks that are inside that package show some demos or uh, examples of that. So I've run maybe one or two uh, uh, examples of that in that video. So where does that leave us now that we've got three videos, three proof of concepts that run? There's still an outstanding one. Uh, it's called um, uh, IQ Feed. As you know, I want to use IQ Feed as my high quality but yet affordable data provider. Um, now, you can use a variety of number of options. I've shown one third party that does it very fast. Also, with um, IQ Feed, um, you can obviously use the API. They do include the um, source file examples. Um, but the, the hard part is, is that I have not yet seen an example to integrate with IQ Feed from C++. And that, I would believe that's part of that. You pay us $300, we'll give you the source example uh, examples. But I have not seen yet anywhere online. And that tells me there's probably some kind of licensing uh, agreement or some kind of something that that information and those source files cannot be released to the general public. So what does that mean now with all the other videos that I've done, we now have a piece that has to stay secretive um, because of this. So that means I'm not going to have a complete HFT platform out there out in the general public, but I've given enough info on how to build one and my intention is to house everything together in one C++ app. Not only that, but take the best, uh, you know, the, 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 the strategies and models from within R that show the most promise and put those within this C++ application. So now I have a whole host of uh, functions within this HFT platform with parallelization included and the ability to um, work with Redis, an in-memory database. Um, I do believe that this is a, pr a pretty fast way of, 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 of doing advanced trading and algorithm type of base trading. Um, I've not said this yet, but one thing I can say is if you do put this something like this on a solid state drive, it can speed up the application by two, I've, I've heard up to four times as if it resided on a SATA drive. So that's something else that needs to be investigated. Obviously this won't be as fast as a, as a uh, uh, FPGA environment be it with C++ and all the hairy code that comes with it and the nightmare of debugging it or maintaining it, it's just an absolute, I don't want to even go there. But this is an easier way of doing it. If you saw the code of how C++ calls the R, it's really nice and clean as compared to something like um, from uh, MATLAB. I'm not putting MATLAB down, I just think that the R community has really, really advanced uh, itself, especially in the world as RCPP and R inside. Kudos to those guys that uh, are behind that. Um, and gals if there are, I shouldn't be uh, discluding anyone there. Anyways, so again, the RCPP seems to work. It got it running all in the uh, Linux environment. Uh, as for my membership, I've gone through so many walkthrough R code, walkthroughs with videos, all there currently, but I've left purposely two or three really advanced uh, estimating or forecasting type of models. They include Bayesian, uh, MCMC, otherwise known as Markov Chain, Monte Carlo, and that's where the clustering is really going to come in because those two work hand in hand. Um, and also, I want to delve more into PCA as well, uh, principal component analysis. So. This is what the big boys do in the institutions. Um, obviously, they won't say nothing, but here I am on video trying to reverse engineering what they do, and maybe even more advanced. I don't know, I'm not an expert. I, I don't live in their environments, but the name of the game is that this is quite possibly, probably 
first, not the fastest, not the second, maybe the third type and fastest way to execute trades in a, a huge volume, in unlimited ways, uh, and at the same time being able to maintain your code very easily and when you need to debug it, that can be done too without going into some cryptic register crazy stuff. I'm not saying I'm not gonna do it, I may do it, but at this point, this is the easiest way and possibly the fastest way to do it. End of discussion, I researched the Java and all those debates, that, that's done in my, my world. So there we are. We are now well on our way to building a high frequency trading system might take me a while to actually get it into uh, all into one application, but I know it can be done. And from there, I'll start banging out and implementing the models that I want to put in that I think are profitable. And where the membership gets their value is how I'm doing it and what is valuable. So we are now entering or coming very, very close to a proprietary secretive mode that I'll put some little tidbits out there, what we call gold nuggets, gold nuggets and teasers and all that for you guys that are uh, looking for free stuff. Hey, that's nothing wrong with that, but how do I live? My membership, because they enable me to keep doing this. Um, and at the end of the day, I could shut all this down, delete everything uh, off of YouTube, wipe out my website, and you wouldn't even know I existed. Um, so I always have that as an option, or I could just close off permanently the, the premium membership and that's that. Because I do eventually want to focus on trading. Um, my whole journey up until now is just to show and educate people how I'm doing it and get you know an occasional bone thrown at me through the uh, membership. But I just want to let people know where I'm at. We've got over 200 videos now on YouTube. Through the channel, we're up to about five, six hundred visitors daily, and about three thousand uh, people within various communities that uh, I promote through the social outlets and the site itself and the email list. So it's building, there's a momentum, and it's exciting. I want you to be part of it, and um, we're now very close to building something really, really, really good. It's exciting times. Over and out.